Hey everyone, welcome to Nails World. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Stable Diffusion Weed and Web UI from Automatic 1111 in your Apple Mac. So let's start. The first step that we are going to do is to install a software called Homebrew on our Mac. To do that, I will go to this website called brew.sh and where you will find this command to install brew. To install brew, we will need to go to our terminal. So you can open your terminal by going to spotlight by pressing command and spacebar and typing terminal in your Mac. And then you can check whether homebrew or brew is already installed on your Mac by typing this command brew space dash V. So it returned that homebrew version 4.4.0 is installed but still i'm going ahead with the installation process since i have copied the command from the brew.sh website and i'll just simply paste that command and hit enter you need to enter the password for your mac once it is done it will further confirm whether you want to continue with the step or not just hit enter to continue now it will download the dependencies and all the required files and install homebrew on your mac it may take a couple of minutes to complete the process now it is done in my case i already have it installed that is why it was completed within a few minutes but in your case it may take a little bit longer time to download the actual files and then install it the first step is completed the second step we will go to this website to install python and the related applications and the web ui we will be installing the web ui from automatic 1111 for stable diffusion i will provide the links to all the related websites in the description so you don't have to worry you will can you can simply go to the description and find the links you have this apple silicon installation guide in the automatic 1111 github website we will install python and some other dependencies for that we need to copy this command i'll copy this command and go back to the terminal and paste this command you see that in my screen it is already installed and up to date but in your case if you are doing it for the first time and if python is not already installed by some ways all those required dependency files will be downloaded and installed and that will take some time around 10 15 minutes it will take so grab a cup of coffee during this process sit back and relax to enjoy the installation of the python and other dependencies because i already have it installed i'll go ahead with the third step i will go to this website you need to clone the web ui repository from github if you simply copy and run this command using the terminal it will be downloaded to the default downloads directory but if you want your stable diffusion to be installed in a particular directory of your choice you can create one directory and run this command from that directory to do that i will go to my finder and go to my home and create a folder called table dash diffusion this is a folder i have created nothing is there inside and then i will change to that directory by issuing this command stable dash diffusion from the command line okay i'll change directory to that directory now i will paste that command from the github page this is the third step now it will download the stable diffusion web ui and the related files into the stable diffusion directory now it has already downloaded earlier i showed you that that directory was blank now if i go there you have one more directory where you have the stable diffusion web ui folder inside that folder you will find one more folder called models inside that folder again you will have a folder called stable diffusion you need to download the stable diffusion models and put those models into this folder now i'll go ahead and download those files okay i'll go to this website hugging face where you will can find a lot of different ai models for this case we will go to the model space and simply search by typing stable diffusion so there are different models for stable diffusion i will go ahead and try to find a stable diffusion model 1.5 here it is i'll go and click on the link and you have the different information related to that model is given here in that web page simply go to this link called files so inside that files you have this different stable diffusion models do keep in mind that you need to download the models with dot ckpt extension only i'll go ahead and download this 1.5 prune ckpt of around 8 gb of uh, size i already have this thing downloaded into my downloads folder i'll go back to my downloads folder 
and this one okay and just copy this file and go to the stable diffusion folder models stable diffusion and paste that model file over here now we will go ahead with the fourth step so let us get the fourth step from uh, the website so what is the fourth step the fourth step is to go to the stable diffusion web ui directory and run this command so i'll copy this command first in the terminal window i will change directory to table dash diffusion dash web ui i will simply paste the command and run it so you need to have some patience in during the installation of these dependencies in all the required files now stable diffusion web ui is successfully installed and it is working now you have this web address which you can go to this website or local host address and run stable diffusion so here it is so this is the web interface of stable diffusion you have this website commonly for all the cases this is the website or this is the web address that you would like you would get from the web interface now i have this model installed that i have downloaded you have you can have multiple models downloaded and you can select different models from here let us try once with a simple prompt a uh, white horse let us not uh, make things complicated and give it this simple prompt and hit generate you can hit write the text prompt here using the text to image and then hit generate it will take some time for the generation to complete i'm not going into the de detail options here now here you can see so this is the stable diffusion generated image from our local machine the stable diffusion web ui from automatic 1111 is in action so this is the horse generated from the simple prompt this is how you can install a web ui for stable diffusion in your mac and run text to image prompts to generate images locally so thank you very much for watching my video. I'll see you in my next very soon.